Good morning, friends and family out in YouTube world. It's your fellow alopecia princess, Jacqueline Hill Bennett. Thank you for tuning in. So, Wig Free Wednesday is over. <laughs> and listen, as much of an advocate for uh, going wig free and celebrating our natural beauty, I am. I gotta tell you, nothing quite gives me the same joy as really, really nice wig. Like a really nice wig. <laughs> That's, that's up there with like like passionate love and <laughs> happy families I don't know <laughs> I, I, I can't even explain it that's just so superficial of me to say but really I just love I just love a good wig so like I said wig free Wednesday is over and I'm back in my Soho chic wig she's now almost four months old and look she still looks amazing I want, I, want, I, want, I want you guys to take a look at that hairline I've been working on the hairline because I feel like um, yeah I feel like I'm gonna crash that's what I feel like so hold a moment okay yeah so I've been working on this hairline because that is something that um, this Soho Chic uh, Louis Fair wig. It, I kind of struggled with the hairline. I felt like it just needed a lot of doctoring. Um, aside from the fact that I love the cut and I love the quality of the hair, uh, I feel like the, the hairline could have been a little bit different. I love John Renault's hairlines. I know I talk about those all the time. John Renault makes the best hairlines that I can, that I, I've ever tried anyway. I'm sure there's other ones out there that are just as good or better but for me I'm very pleased with them so anyway I worked on the hairline and look at it it's looking great four months old ah girl check out my Soho chic anyway um so I woke up this morning well I wore her to work yesterday and I've been wearing her a lot this Soho chic wig so she got pretty dirty um it didn't occur to me that I had probably gone a full three or four weeks without washing it maybe three weeks because I'm not gross you know but I had gone a good little while without washing it and it was starting to look really stiff and um, it was I wasn't getting the movement from it that I should have been getting so I just washed it I just put her in the sink uh, with some sulfur sulfate free shampoo and you know just a little tiny bit and then I used my silicone mix as a conditioner and I let it sit in that when I was after I had rinsed out the shampoo. And I just did that uh, about two hours ago. So now I'm heading out food shopping and I wanted to talk to you guys about wig restoration. So um, I wanted to do that, I actually wanted to do that wig restoration video right before my husband came home. But when he came home, I just decided I didn't feel like doing the video anymore. I feel like it's weird talking to myself like that and you know he always wants to chat he likes to be the center of my world when he comes home from work so <laughs> it's all good so um, I figure when I get home I will go ahead and um, show you guys about wig rest wig restoration there's so many things that we do in attempt to uh, extend the life of our wigs and it's hard to discern exactly when you should just give up. Like, there's, it's funny, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure all of you have, like, a wig closet. Like, almost like a wig graveyard. Like, whenever your wigs start, your favorite wigs start to get a little old, you just, like, put them inside that wig graveyard and hope that one day you'll be able to take it out and restore it and you try and sometimes you try in vain and sometimes you try successfully but um I have I have figured it out guys I think I have figured it out um you know I like my synthetic wigs um I do like human hair wigs also but only when they're good and they're hard to come by it's and super expensive when they're good so 
Um, so I figured out the synthetic hair restoration, guys. So there's this big movement of boiling wigs, right? Which is really good. It's something that I learned on YouTube and I'm very thankful that I learned it. I've always, I've always been good at extending the wear of my wigs by um, flat ironing it while it's saturated with water, like after a wash, then I'll go in and flat iron it and, you know, bump it and give it whatever kind of curl that I would like to give it. Um, and that's, that's always worked for me, but, and, and so does the, um, the boiling of the wigs. But the problem of, with that, I find, is that eventually, after you've boiled the wig or flat ironed it a certain amount of times, it loses its body and its movement. It, the, without that, without that body, you, even though it's not tangling as it used to, even though it's not as bushy as it used to, it still doesn't add any beauty to your look. So it's just like this wig is no good anymore. So I have a bunch of wigs in my closet that are completely flat no body wigs because they're old. Um, I have this one wig in particular that uh, it is a another John Renault wig. Um, Zara? Zara. Which is a very, very popular wig and I love it. Um, so I had Zara and I wore her so much. I, wore, I would swim in her so she's been like rinsed with chlorine. Uh, she's got salt water in her from the ocean. Like I've done so many things in her, but now she's just all flat. She has, she's limp. She has no body. But I can't wait to go home and put this tool to it that I have rec recently purchased. I have been looking for something um, just like this, and I finally found it. It's a crimper. Remember crimpers back in the days? Well, the crimper I found is so small, and the crimps are so small that they actually act like uh, teasers. Like it's, it's almost like you tease your hair. <laughs> So I can't wait to go home and go ahead and put some body to that. I did it with this wig. It started to get a little limp. Um, and I don't know if I even took the time to show you guys that because I was probably in a big rush heading to work or something like that. And I didn't have time to record that, but all my body is back. It's nice and full and body full. It's not limp like it was uh, like a month and a half ago when um, I did that. So I can't wait to uh, show you guys that. So stay tuned, guys, for my next video. And that's when I will show you how to give body back to your old limp wigs. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.